I'm not late, you're late. This is episode four of The Walking Dead's New Frontier, and uh, I'm not late. I'm not, Clem, relax. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias, oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Conrad, what? They got the guts to kill another man. No, you're not a man. You're nothing. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. They were our family, David. How could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! Oh yeah, that's what happened. Shit, we're fucking dead. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would uh, be uh, so awesome. Uh, uh, I, I want uh, you to play all the yeah. time. Yeah. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man. Thank you. Sorry, bro. Give me one second. Just a little kid. Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Oh. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. Uh. <sighs> what the hell is this? You want to make money? Get a job. Ugh, whatever. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Um, crush it. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah, you should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. I'm sorry, dude. Jeez. Oh, oh, sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really? I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. 
I'll miss it. See? We all have off days. Come on, man. Don't start sucking on my account. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot, but I do. And I'm good at it. Oh. Ow. Fuck. You gotta shut up. What? Stupid thing. Uh, um. My arm's throbbing. That's, um. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. I'm gonna crush the fuck out of it. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. Jesus. David. Come on, Doc. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> and mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I got you, bud. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Oh, you and your problems. Get in there. Oh, yeah. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them. And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I'll... I'll see what I can do. Wait, you're gonna choose that witch over me now? Better start leaning on your brother, Javi. He needs to get with the program. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I killed Lonnie. Christ. How could he turn on me like that? David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. 
I have a mouse. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah, you talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again, now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You can count on them, okay? Kate's level head got us out of more than a few jams. Yeah, okay. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've gotta figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. I'm gonna hug the fuck out of you. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. If you know there's trouble out there, just tell us. I'm getting to it. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Good luck. Don't kill anyone. You'll make things way worse. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Oh, we're we're jailbreaking. It's not even a phone. Stand on this. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Oh, is that where we're going? Okay. That it, do it. Ugh, nothing useful here. It was air. Air is always useful. Okay. Uh, chair. We could use the chair. Lamp. Lamps are great. Ooh. Oh. Press that Q key a lot. See how it's moving? That's why you gotta press it. Alright. Now we have a weapon. That doesn't look very sturdy. But it's useful. No time to rest. We could bring it. We could sell it. Take it to Pawn Stars. Ooh, that's actually useful too. You? Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. Yeah, it's okay. It, you don't. Yeah, it's, you know, that's fine. You do you, buddy. Okay, Javi. So we're gonna bring this pipe over. Ooh. I mean... We could try. That's not gonna work. 
Yeah, I didn't think it would. I just saw the options. I was like, eh, fuck it. Alright, so you wanna... Um... Pipe this. Uh, of course not. Hmm. Well, we never actually tried to open the door. Maybe they just forgot. <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. Damn. Here I thought they would have been just silly billies and totally left it open for us. Oh well. Okay. Hey, look at it again. It's been a long time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. You stinky bastard. That's okay, everyone else is equally smelly, so it just kind of everyone got used to it. It could be much worse, trust me. Do those boards come loose? I guess I should look at things more. <clears throat> nope. Very sturdy boards. How about you? Could squeeze through there. No, you can't. Don't lie to yourself. Need a way to get on top of those lockers. Wait a second, can I go get the stool now that I have seen the... Are you... Hmm... Yep. God damn it. Alright. Oh. That's not gonna alert anybody. Jiggle it. Keep jiggling. Jiggle like a Mina, Javi. I've been looking everywhere for you. Hi. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Break me out. Break me out outside. Can't break out. Okay, I broke out. Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way, come on. Are we gonna let the herd inside? We really shouldn't. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is she okay? Is Kate doing okay? Yeah, she's fine. And Eleanor's watching her just in case. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. I'm working on that. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. We gotta meet up with the others first. All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Um, get down. Hold up. Get down. Thank you. Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us. We 
we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Oh. Um. Oh, yep, get yeah, that. Yo, yeah, go. Yep. <sighs> oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside. God, they're setting up a thing to hang me, aren't they? Not me, David, but they're doing it. They're fucking doing it, aren't they? Pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. they don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about me? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. They've escalated past their same old usual argument. Never heard it this bad. That's some rough shit right there. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye. This is not not the time for that kind of conversation there, Trip. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You know, doing stuff. Uh, do you guys need time? You guys need some time or? No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. Well... What do we do? David's getting fucked over. We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Told you we couldn't trust him. You were right. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. I can't... Oh. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. You're so right. I'm sorry. I should have left with you. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. I still gotta get David, so... He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. Oh. I know you must have at least heard something. We've all been there, dog. It's all good. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. You know, I would just say give it time, personally. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay, good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. That was that was literally just like a hundred percent. Hey, I'm gonna die. Conversation. Fuck. I miss you, Trip. You were a good. You were one of the good ones, man. You, you, you were. Yep. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Javi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah. I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your dad vouched for her. Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. It'll be fine. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate. Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help.
Okay. He's clipping textures though, I swears. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. This is gonna be loud. Is it just me or... Is there no actual window and that's just kind of like open? Ah, fuck it. Jesus. I don't think you're doing anything. Never mind, you did it. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we do. Oh. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. Oh. Don't shoot him. Oh, please don't stab me either. Jesus, man. Fuck your beard. Is oh, God. Come on, man. Frick. Mommy, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh, my God. Fuck no, man. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Um, what? Oh. This is wholly unnecessary. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. Yeah. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick.
I mean, we have a nurse friend. But you guys just gonna leave that knife with the blood there? That's... That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Oh. Clem? Hey, Clem. <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, <sighs> that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Hmm. I, uh, thought you left. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. Yeah. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. Oh. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... Oh. I just oh. don't understand. Oh. Oh, that. Well, you'll get the hang of it. How? It's exactly like anything else. This isn't exactly like anything else. Well, um... Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Um... Oh, man. Oh. Little girl's growing up so fast. <sighs> Wake up. Talk to me. <sighs> wow. That guy is really out of it. Uh, he tried. Well, I'll see if we can find anything. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. That's still stuff. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Well, we got that stuff. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Yeah, might as well just put him back. No thanks. I don't feel like dealing with more shit. Just pills. <laughs> what do you? What did you think it was? Here we go. Hey! Clem, I got you covered, girlfriend. Oh, boy. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> if 
Okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Fuck me up, fam. Thank you for, you know, all that. I know I'm not the best person for this. I always hoped Kate would talk to Mariana, and I'd just be there for support. You weren't so bad. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. Oh man, flashbacks. <sighs> this stinks. Oh, hi. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have house to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. Carver got what was coming, but just look at him. It takes a fucking monster to do that. Kenny and Carver deserved each other. Both crazy pieces of shit. No good to anyone. The world is better without them. We're all monsters now. Each in our own way. <sighs> Don't go all philosophical on me now. Even if you're right. Don't you talk shit about Kenny. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? It's like a caterpillar. Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stab. Remember the basics of secrecy. Sweep and stab. Smash the Q. Okay. Hey, Carver. Help me, Carver! That was too close. Come on. We can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled, like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I got this. It's all good. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. You just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. Until you freaking hang yourself. As long as we have that, 
We'll be okay. Yeah, so don't go and do anything drastic, okay? Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. can have it for free? Free. See, that one was take, but it did the same exact thing like it did for the other two. I don't understand you video games. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness, hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. 
don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. I like you, Ava. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? Holy shit, that texture, though. I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. Another one, then. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He 
Keys is at the McCarroll Ranch, a few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friend. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. Rest easy, Lingard. Huh. Finally. Oh, hey. Yo. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Don't look in there, by the way. Hmm. Good to see you. Don't, don't look. Oh, thank God you're stupid. Harvey, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah, it looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Aw. <laughs> Poor Gabe. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Conrad? Nah. I'm, I'm cool. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Yeah, he's dead Looking now. Looking after an entire community? Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I, I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done with all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Joan's people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that hey. has to help somehow. Just because they like you how do doesn't they... mean they're going to like the rest of us. How do they us. know? We're sitting ducks what? up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot. Ah, oh, fuck. Sure. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, 
Is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Ah, uh, you You're know. You're bleeding right through that bandage. Hang on. You should have told me as soon as Shush. you Shush. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. Slow it down. I know what Chill Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Uh, that's a nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. That was a little. Your life is precious. Okay. Before you all make any decisions about who's coming and who's staying and who's gonna do what, I just wanted to say, I'm sitting this one out. What are you talking about, Conrad? I'm sorry about David. I am. I just don't particularly care what happens to the folks here in Richmond. It's not my community. Not my problem. I got what I came here for. That's not the kind of man I want to be. Just got to figure it out. Who the new Conrad is. There are good people living here, Conrad. There are people who need our help. You're really just going to walk out on them now? Not saying I'll be gone forever. But I just can't go along with this. I'm going to get some things together and find some place to wait out the herd. I'll attract less attention if I'm by myself. Conrad. Man. Hey. No goodbyes. I'll see you on the other side, brother. I'll see you. Oh, you're dead. <sighs> Wait, the door's been open? Close the door. Thank you. Okay, so you want to dive bomb Joan and save the day. Do we have to leave? This place is comfortable. Hell yeah, we're out of here. A handful of people against everyone out there. Everything out there. That's doable. Probably. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is going to be hard. But it's possible. If we stick to what we said we'd do. We've got the guns, we've got a plan, and soon we're gonna have that truck. Hell, I'm still in. I promised David I'd always have his back. Let's do it. Without Conrad, you guys need me. And you know it. Sure as hell seems that way. Me, Clem, Kate, and Gabe will go after the car. Me and Eleanor, we'll get some supplies together. Here, take a walkie. I'll let everyone know when things kick off. Ava, you take the other one and keep checking in. No matter what. I'll get my stuff and meet you at the square. Okay, let's move out. Are you too good now, or the weird? It's probably weird. What am I saying? Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually, I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. 
Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. Oh, love. What? Nothing. She knows. Kate and I will be fine back here. She knows. Ah, oh, gosh. Hey, Gabe. You want to talk about it? What's up? So, uh... What's going on, dude? Listen. I appreciate your enthusiasm. But if we don't work together as a team, we all fail. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I shouldn't have freaked out. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope... You can trust me again. I'll do whatever you need me to do. But Javi? Yeah? Quit treating me like a kid. No promises. You gotta earn your keep, kid. Haha, <laughs> sorry. That was a little rude. We'll, 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 we'll see. We'll work it out. Sure you don't want to just take that one out with your bat right now? I guess it's kind of an awkward spot with the boards if I hit him and stuff. Eh, I'm sure you mean well. Hey Clem, wait, I actually want to talk to you about stuff. Are you gonna talk to her? What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. And this is why you're one of the good ones. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. I mean, the truck over there looked pretty truckable. You know, I got a hunch. Nah, it can't be that. It must be this one. Sturdy. But only room for one. It's a forklift. In case you didn't know. Silly hobby. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go with this weird hunch of mine. There it is. Let's go. Chances. I'd say about 50-50. I mean, realistically speaking, yeah. I didn't even press anything. Smartass. I didn't even press anything. Are you playing yourself now? Are you a Sir's Wrath? Get, get, okay. We've got company. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. But how? The, the gate? Or the garage door? The, you can't... What? Ready? Ready. Ready. Oh, God. Okay, I mean, if you say so, Javi. There, there's the... What about the door? Is it gonna... Are we just gonna smash through it? What? That was not open. What? That, that makes noise when you open those. Continuity, man. Where the fuck to go? Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions.
don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. Yes, they will. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? I found it. Touch it. Cut the wire. Oh! Hey, man! How are you? There you go. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Don't. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Okay. Let me just, uh, press this Q button real quick. It's a Chrysler. Wire cutter should help with this. Alright. Uh, the green one, of course. And then you strip it. Easy. You want this one? See, I've never really hot-wired a car before, so I'm not really Gotta sure. The battery to the ignition. Uh-huh. Okay. Well. Uh. That, well, this is the positive and that's the negative. So, that means I'm gonna need both of these still. And then strip it. So, connect the battery to the ignition. Okay, well, if that's the case... Obviously, these... Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Shit. Frick. Let there be light. Hey. Oh! Fuck! We're dead. Oh shit. Alright, come on. Touch it again, I guess. I mean, we tried this before. Uh, hurry up. Maybe it'll work now. It's working now. I don't know why. I guess the lights actually help it. I don't know. I don't know, car wiring. Hey, let's go. Get now. in. The more toasts are coming. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Um, I hope it works out between them. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. 
think their first official date will be target practice. Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. <sighs> I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. Now, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. That counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get uh... crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? Sorry. Well, maybe I should have stayed can't. quiet. I'm sorry, Kate. I... Oh. God. I just can't see it between us. So all those times you said stuff, I was just imagining it. I didn't do that. Years together on the road. The looks, the hints of something more. You're saying none of that meant what I thought it did. David's not just some guy in our lives. He's my brother. I don't see him being okay with this, ever. I can't do that to him. So, you're saying you do feel something. It doesn't matter, Kate. It can't go anywhere. I guess a part of me always knew you didn't feel the same way. God knows I pushed you a couple times, but you always said no. I guess I have to finally listen. Javi! It's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. I knew it! You've got to get over here, now! Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now! walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Then you can drive into the square and pick us up. It's probably better that you stay here, considering you won't say a single word to me. Oh, I'll say a word to you, all right. But I'm pretty sure you're not gonna like it. Just stay out of sight. We'll be in touch as soon as we can. No 
anything else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. A whole lot of fuck. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. How many people are about to die? for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless? This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I think she's bluffing. It's a scare tactic. There's no way she's really gonna execute him. No, that's not what I said. Are you sure? I hope you're right. That's not what I said. I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. She uh, said you came it. here because you wanted to save your brother. Admirable. Almost. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me! You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. 
You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Really? Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? No. Fuck you. I'm not... No. No. Oh, come on! Fuck it's off. It's stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joan. You can suck my dick, Joan. I don't, nah. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? This is bullshit. This is like until dawn motherfucking bullshit right here. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I really have to pick? Tata, why you gotta do this shit? This is fucking bullshit. Let Ava live. David believes in her, and so do I. Javi! No! I fucking trusted you, Javi. Now you're throwing me under the bus? You go to hell. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't. Okay. No! Oh my god. They really shot her. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Thank Don't you. listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch! Take her out! She deserves it! If you don't do it, I fucking will! Dude... Let me out of here! I'll tear her apart! David... You know what? You know fucking what? I hate that smug attitude of hers, but fuck, dude. Like if, uh, for everyone, I need to take the deal. I, if it was just me, I would, I would just be like, you know what, brother, fuck it, let's do it. You and me, we'll just, we'll go down together. But it's everyone, it's, it's Clem, it's everyone else, it's, it, We're leaving. All of us. Right now. I didn't say you could go. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen.
believe it! What the fuck are you doing? I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer and I kill him. I swear I will. Go ahead and shoot then. I warned you. They can't be trusted. What the fuck? Stop a second and think about this. I'm done thinking. Ava was the best soldier I ever met. She didn't deserve this. God damn it, David. God fucking damn it, David. Dude, we fucking had it covered, man! We... We had it fucking covered, dude! God. Now we're, now we're just killing people. Now we're just killing people today. Now people just gotta die. Okay. Whatever. Ava's arm was underneath the fucking platform. You just killed Clint! Okay. Oh, sure. The one guy that just saved your fucking ass. Good job, David. Fuck, man. Just... You fucking idiot. Fucking hack! Get back here! Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Uh... Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. Fuck. David's trained for this. We're not. You think he'll be okay out there? I've got no doubts. <laughs> Gabe, you're just gonna end up dying if you go out there, man. You should have got for cover, you shithead. Are you just shooting civilians now? Oh, hey, Clint. Shit, I gotta help her. God damn it! Just go. I'll try and cover you. I knew David was gonna do something to fuck this up. I told you what he was like. When are you gonna start believing me? Shit. Get down! I hear gunfire! What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you well, need a pickup? Just chill, or do we'll you come have to things you. under control? Stay away from the square. It's too risky. We'll come to you. I I can't hear you. It's too loud. Okay. Kick it down. Just kick okay. <laughs> Never mind, just leave it. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just get moving. It'll be fine. Probably. Hey. I need that. Let me let me just borrow this real quick. Hey, thanks whoever well, did that. This is a hell of a situation, isn't it? Hey, Conrad! So My man! Okay? Conrad! You have no fucking idea how glad I am to see you. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me. I really was headed out, but something made me turn back. Good thing I did, huh? You're not supposed to be here. It's Kate. She's coming for us. That's Molotov. Oh. Oh God! Javi, you've got to get over there before. Okay. Okay. Jade. Okay. That's how they end it. Of fucking course. Fuck. Ah. Fucking video games, man. 92, good job, 90, almost 93% of people. How would you respond? Hey, good. Good job, team. We'll let Clementine. We could do that? I didn't even freaking notice. Shit, I guess I should have done that, huh? I would have done that. I didn't think I could do that. Huh. Oh well. 
It's fine. Fuck. It's unclean. Oh. Good job, minority. Sorry, but I mean, Kate, you're fine. You're great and all. You were awesome. Let's l listen. No problem with you whatsoever, but I need you to understand. My brother's psychotic as fuck. All right? If I'm tapping you and he finds out, I'm going to die. He will kill me. Okay? It's kind of like, hey, you're great, but until you actually tell David, then maybe we can work something out. But I, I just can't. Okay? I'm, I, I'll literally die. Yeah, that, uh, that seems about right. See, here's the thing. I had a fucking feeling it was going to be like, hey, whoever you choose to save, it's going to be just like motherfucking until dawn. Whoever you choose, it don't fucking matter because it's the person that you do choose, you know? Because it's just, it's stupid. I don't know. I, I fucking hate that. Because it's like, are they going to do it? Or are they going to, like, make you think that they're going to do it so they don't actually do it? It's fucking bullshit. No offense. Oh, by the way, Eleanor, you, you, you fucking ratted us out. The whole time, I thought we was tight. But it turns out, nah. You didn't really want to go along with the, with things, and you you kind of like fucked us over, and you you got to walk. I would I would have been down. <laughs> guess not anymore. I guess that's not in the cards. Did you shoot Joan and take Gl or oh yes? Yeah, see, it looks like Minority actually took the deal. Oddly enough, huh? You see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. David, you fucked it up. You fucked that pooch so fucking bad. We could have had this. But you were just like, hey, let me ruin everything and kill the one guy that was gonna help us. What the fuck, man? Like, you... You could have gone for Joan. She was not that far away. She was actually pretty close. But you were like, nah, I'm just gonna grab Clint, the guy that was vouching for us. You fucking idiot. God damn. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know, man. Like, I get it, you know. Fucking... The, the brother, he's a little bit insane. He's on a, a war path of vengeance and all that stuff, and... It's a bit loopy, but... I guess I'm, I'm more just like, uh... Mikasa Tuidaiza, or whatever. I don't even know if Mikasa is the right word. Is Mikasa the right word? I might not even mean what I think it means. What the fuck does Mikasa mean? Let's see. I'm gonna Google it right the fuck now. M I space C A S A. Mikasa means bar and grill. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> let's try that one more time. Mikasa. Mikasa. Translation. How about that? You want to do that? You want to you want to go for the translation? That'd be great. Okay, me ca. Oh, autocorrect is to me cash. Okay, you know, sometimes technology you know leaves us and gets a bit stupid. Can you stop autocorrecting to me 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 cash, please? Thank you. All right, me casa means my home, which is you know similar because home is where the family is yeah yeah so hold on a second uh, family in Spanish so what is that Fam ma familia familia see I was close <laughs> I don't know I don't know like I understand it's like a sinking ship at this point but uh, I mean, just fucking do it. Kate, Kate's fucking dead. I don't know if, if that's been established yet, but there's no fucking way she's not. She is so dead. Kate was great, but now Kate is dead. So that sucks. I was, I was, a, I was a fan. I liked her. Have I like having her around? She was good. So that sucks. That really sucks that that is what happened in video game land. Fucking video games. Get it? Nope. Come back.
Hey, good Game of Thrones, I know you were expecting to have some kind of like on the next video or episode thing. <laughs> nah, instead, go fucking advertisement. That's great. Thank you, Telltale. You, you know, finger guns, pew pew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess that, uh, that about covers it then. That was The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, Episode 4. If I uh, recall properly, there's only five episodes, so the last episode is the next episode. Or the next episode is the last episode, however you want to look at it. So that kind of, um, that's kind of a thing. All in all, I think I'm really liking how Clem's turning out. I think this episode really went more into uh, her, you know, backstory and how she is now. And she's on her, on her thing that, uh, that puberty does to females that's gr she's growing up just so fast and and look look at that look at that look at her go look at her go yeah that's kind of weird anyway that's uh that's about it then so i guess i'll uh catch you guys another time because uh i mean this is it that's, that's, uh, we saw the credits. This, this is the main menu, and now we're just kind of sitting here chilling out, watching fire and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, hope y'all have a absolutely positively stupendous day, evening, night, or uh, apocalypse if you're watching this and the world is ending. That would be weird. Good luck out there, I guess, if it is. <laughs> Shit, that's terrifying. That'd be kind of cool, though. To live, like, to see the end of the world through, like, you know, some kind of Armageddon or, like, uh, Doomsday or, I don't know, just to witness the end of the human race. That would be interesting. I mean, sure, you'd be dead afterwards and everything you work towards is just completely gone and it's not even worth it anymore. But it would still be an interesting time to uh, be alive, aka towards the very end. That's a very weird way to think, I think. But I hope that's not too weird, I guess. If it is, I should shut up now and hopefully a psychiatrist does not see this. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, catch y'all another time and stuff. Yeah, hopefully it won't take another fucking month. Yeah, that's a great idea. Alrighty. Later, guys.